New at four, violent crime is down 5% here in the Queen City. That's according to CMPD's end of year crime statistics for 2022. Other stats to know about. Property crime increased. It increased 6% compared to 2021. CMPD says they took more than 3,000 guns off the streets, many of which they say were stolen. Now, while some of the numbers are encouraging, there, of course, is still a lot of work that needs to be done. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal joining us live. So Jane, staffing remains an ongoing issue, we're told. So the department wants to make sure that they actually have the officers they need to respond to these crimes. Absolutely, as those crimes are going up in some areas, down in others, definitely a mixed bag here. But uh, there are 200 officers short of what they use, uh, what they could use. And the chief says it's actually the number that they're looking ahead to that he's concerned about. So recruiting and retention efforts are a priority for the chief as he looks ahead. If you remember in the early 90s, there was a mass hiring of 125 extra officers. As we get forward into 20, we projected 2023 and 2024 are gonna be the highest number of those officers retiring. CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings says current officers are already stepping up, doing more with less. So if we can't get uh, more people in the seats for recruiting and hire at a more progressive rate, uh, then we're really gonna to have to take a serious look at what can we stop doing and what, how can we be as efficient as possible with the people that we have? Which can affect timely calls for service, especially if the communications department is also understaffed with dispatchers. If they get officers every, all the information they need and get them out to the scenes as soon as they possibly can. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult. You can't have an officer work in a traffic accident that, with injuries and then leave a scene to go uh, take a robbery report. So we have to be able to prioritize as best we can. And he says it's not as easy as throwing money to recruit. The department offers a $7,500 incentive to those who sign on to become a police officer. And now the department's offering pay incentives for officers who are assigned to second and third shifts. I think what we need to do is to get, uh, turn the narrative of the profession around and to make sure that uh, that people understand that this is an admirable, noble job and profession. Well, Chief Jennings says they know there will be challenges with recruiting and keeping employees at the department, but he also says he is proud and thankful for the department's goal of keeping everyone safe. And he continues to keep an optimistic outlook for the new year. Live in Uptown at CMPD headquarters, Jade Monreal, WCNC Charlotte.